Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video that shows how to use iPods with Ubuntu. I've got two iPods plugged into this computer. One is called RJ's iPod and the other one is called Pop's iPod. They are plugged in by means of two USB cables. RJ's iPod is an iPod Touch and from the icon you can see that Pop's iPod is one of the older models. You cannot just drag and drop files from an iPod to a computer, nor can you drag and drop files from a computer to an iPod. You have to use an intervening program. Apple makes a program called I iTunes and iTunes is a program that works only with Windows or a Macintosh and you cannot use this program with Linux Ubuntu. There is a workaround if you want to go to the trouble you can use VirtualBox that's a program you can download and after you download VirtualBox, you can load Windows into VirtualBox. After you've got Windows loaded in VirtualBox, then you can download iTunes. If you don't want to do this, you can use another program besides iTunes. And this program is in the Ubuntu Software Center and once you get the Ubuntu Software Center loaded and connected to the Internet you can type in GTK pod and as you can see with the green check mark I already have it loaded it's an iPod manager program similar to but not identical to iTunes iTunes also has a store where they will sell you stuff and GTK Pod does not. As you can see this program is already installed after you load it and install it it also loads into the menu and it shows up in applications, sound and video. I will close the Ubuntu Software Center and show you that now. I go to Applications, Sound and Video, and there's GTK Pod. I've already got it open actually, and I have now loaded it so that it shows up in the top quarter of the screen. I can enlarge it, of course. Now it's full screen and over here in the left panel you can see I've got both of my iPods plugged in. Here's RJ's iPod and there are some movies. Here's Pop's iPod and here are uh, a whole bunch of music files. You can drag and drop from your computer right to uh, GTK pod. I'm going to open up photos, music, and videos. I will grab uh, some videos and I will just move a video file over, left click, bring it over, and I let go, and it's not in there yet though of course you've got to click save changes and that takes a while it takes a while because it's either USB 1 or 2 but probably not 3 depending on your computer the new USB 3 is very very fast however this is a fairly large movie it is 614 megabytes so it's going to take a while and uh, after it's done you can unplug the iPod and it's in there already. You can do the same thing with music files. The music files 
uh, I've got mine uh, separated by folders. Each album is a separate folder. Uh, you may get a warning or two as this just showed that I that they could not find the backup. I don't have a backup. When you first hook an iPod up to your computer after loading GTK Pod, you're going to be asked by the computer, hey, what kind of iPod is this? And there are many different kinds of iPods. This particular model here is the XA446. That's Apple's designation for this type of uh, iPod. And here are all the different kinds of iPods that they've come out with. More than likely, uh, it's, it's going to be easily recognized. You've either got a shuffle or a nano or first generation, second generation video, classic, touch, and then there's different kinds of touches. Uh, mine here, uh, I've got to figure out whether or not the thing is 8 gigabytes, 16 or 32. You can find that information out and make sure you're putting in the right kind of iPod. There is a problem when you are using GTK Pod in that the one in the Ubuntu Software Center is version 1.0. If you go online and if you look for GTK Pod, you will see that they've got a version out that is much newer. They've got 2.0.1. However, when you go to the Ubuntu Software Center, you can't get that one. Now that is normal with everything with Ubuntu. That would be the same with almost every program. Uh, they're very conservative in what you've got. For example, if you download VLC, you're going to get an old version. Handbrake, an old version. And so on. If you do want to download the newer version, you're going to have to go to a lot of trouble because a lot of people never get to the level of proficiency required to download tarballs and load them into the computer in Linux. That is a relatively difficult thing to do and this, as they say the scope of this video does not show how to do that mainly because I don't know how to do that. I have a lot of difficulty doing those very complicated things. I only know how to work the program in its simplest fashion. It would be nice if they had uh, automatic updates that would allow you to bring in the newer versions, but they don't. So perhaps somebody could respond to this video and I'll make another video. I have been unsuccessful moving photographs through GTK Pod into iPods. I've got some photographs here in my pictures folder and here's a, a case in point. I've got a picture right here and I'm going to drag it over here and it won't do it. I also can attempt to add files and then go to a photograph and say open and then when I say save changes it didn't do it. So I don't know how to move photographs using GTK Pod. It may very well be that this version 1.0 does not do that and 2.0 does or perhaps I'm missing something altogether. Now if you do not own an iPod and are thinking about buying an iPod you will have to make the very tough decision of whether or not you even want to do so. It is a handy dandy device but 
you are enslaved to Apple computer either through iTunes or through GTK pod you cannot just drag and drop you might be better off buying a very small tablet there are many tablets which you can use to just drag and drop and you've got every bit of the functionality of an iPod the iPods are not all they're cracked up to be neither are the iPads they're not full-blown computers they are an adjunct to the computer and you can only do a limited amount of stuff with an iPod or an iPad it's it's neat it's good looking it's pretty but it's got its limitations it may well be that as Windows 8 comes out that Apple will attempt to put their full operating system onto an iPad in that case then Microsoft and Ubuntu's got some real competition as it is Ubuntu is now getting ready to have tablet compatibility with touchscreen but that has not come out yet and I have not seen one that works well uh, well this concludes my uh, video on GTK pod and if that was helpful to you uh, I thank you very much for watching